everyone and welcome to a brand new series on Lobotomy Corporation. Franz here as always and yes, it's a brand new series. This game's here for a little while. I've always wanted to cover it and I've just never gotten a chance. So I decided 2019, let's start a brand new series. Let's start something a bit different, but uh, not so much different. It's going from evil mansion to evil laboratory, you could say. And if you don't get that reference, you should go watch Mackie a Villain. We are here, yes, Lobotomy Corporation is all about you having your little scientists and everything dealing with the creepy, devilish creature things of the dark worlds, studying them, making them happy, you know, making your facilities run, or hopefully not dying in the process, but usually I end up having ghoulish demons going around murdering all our uh, staff. So, yes, we're here. So we're gonna jump into this so you guys can see what it's like. I played this on stream, I think, sometime last year, actually, just for kind of fun and everything. So I'll be interested to, you know, jump in. I'm actually gonna start with the tutorial just to freshen myself up a little bit. So let's just do that. So we're gonna go abnormality. Words. <laughs> it's like words. Lobotomy Corporation, face the fear, make the future. So like you're gonna face these ghoulish creatures to like study them and everything becomes all nice and hello I see you in the background slowly coming in here and just a little bit more activate memory as well because basically I think this is some sort of android if I'm in right all right okay what do we got here hello manager welcome to the bottom corporation starting today you're responsible for managing abnormalities we have and ensuring we meet the daily energy quota. So every day you'll have an energy quota that you must reach or you fail the day. Now you do it, you are able to sort of restart a day, but sometimes there might not be a way to deal with that day. You may have to restart. So, yes, let's carry on. Right, so we've got WSD, of course. We've got the move in and out. Uh, you look sort of alarmed. You look very alarmed and you just look like you're just like, hi. Right, so let's try a simple maneuver. When you hover your mouse over an employee, some information about them will be revealed on the right. You can see up here. It, well, I can't move the mouse up to show you, so I just have to pretend I'm pointing at the screen and you just notice. Please try and slide an employee by pressing the primary button. Right, so there we go. Well done. The information displayed in the bar on the right now is related to the selected employee. Some of it may be important, such as their state values and EGO equipment. Please look at the manual and the employee article for details about what this mean. So you can see here, they've got some things. You've got a riot stick on them. You've also got a range of different attributes, which basically they come into a lot. Well, basically they're going to come into a lot of importance when you're dealing with different anomalies. All right. The bar on the top left shows the amount of energy you need to collect for the day. On the top right, you can find the missions you're able to clear that day. So manager education, complete work. It's like, do work, damn it. Energy can be produced when a product called Positive Inkelphalin, I don't know if I'm saying that right, is released by an anomaly, an abnormality. I think that's how you say it. I could be saying that wrong, but you know me. So, something it might do when it's being worked on. Please select a containment unit that holds an abnormality and the primary mouse button. So we got this guy down here, select work, and, and, and we'll send you. Look at this little guy. So basically you study them and you find out what they're about, what creatures they are. Now there's no way for you to guarantee what creatures you're going to get every time you start the game. It can be completely different. Alright, so you're calm. You you don't look calm. Uh, just saying that, Vera. You look very alarmed. Be quite straight staining for the fragile men when someone meets an abnormality. If your employee isn't ready enough, it may make the abnormality seem frightened. Frightening or disturbing to them. As such, you may re react severely towards facing it. It can lower their sanity points, which is, I believe, is it, a, is it that one? No, wait. I think it. Maybe that one. I think it's this one here. And basically, they'll go insane and kill everybody. <laughs> so, right. So now we have some things here. You can see here. This is where our lovely energy production is going to be. So, an abnormality releases enkelflin. When employees work with them, we collect this into boxes. Depending how well the employee performs the work, the animal will spawn positive or negative. When it reacts positively, it will release positive enkephalin, which produces a pee box. Sounds like we're keeping little pets now. It's like, oh, we got a pee box. Uh, right, so instrumental conditioning, value. And so basically, let's just don't get careless. I mean, that's usually a thing, but it's me who's playing it, so that's. Uh, we're screwed. 
So, oh, 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 is a dummy who thinks he's an employee of this facility. Well, I suppose this seems harmless. For now. If, however, the na abnormality reacts negatively, it will release a negative. I'm just going to say a negative E. Instead of a damaged employee, you should keep in mind that when an employee's health or sanity drops completely, the work is then forcibly ended. And then they go crazy. Doesn't tell you that about you. Seems to like people. I mean, that's usually a good thing. It's like, yes, it likes people. It's not going to try to murder us. If, however, the. Uh, wait, that, I just read that. So, the, the abnormalities of mood might change depending on the outcome of the work done. The outcome can be protected based on an amount of P boxes we obtained thanks to the work. An abnormality has generally three ways of responding to it, good, neutral, bad, and it may use a special ability of trying to escape depending on the outcome. And then you've got this here. Basically, this is uh, when the work is finished, the energy generated is collected, the P box are stored and shown in the P box counter. So you see this here. Each abnormality can't speak. Abnormality produces a unique set of P boxes, which can be used to unlock the abnormality. So basically, you're able to actually unlock details about this particular sort of creature which allows you to then work with it more closely, you know, and everything. So let's do this. So we got this. So after work has been performed, the same cannot be worked on for a short period of time. So you can't go and start poking and prodding them again. <laughs> right, so when the regenerator gauge fills up completely, employees in the main room will be healed. It will restore both their health and sanity. Uh, so this up here. So once everybody's in here, then they'll all get healed up and like, oh yeah, we're okay, yay. Okay, right, uh, that person's nice and happy, so you see this, that's basically the countdown before you can go near it again, you get your butt back in there, you can see here, so let's try order an employee to do a different type of work in a slightly different way, click the employee, very, you're going to have to do it again, then use the second mouse button on this, and we can do insight instead, so they have four different, because you can do a fortitude, a pro, uh, Prudence, justice, temperance. So it's like a range of different attributes that you can do to any type of abnormality. All right, adjust lighting, test problem solving skills. I feel like they get like a really chessboard, and it's like, yep, 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 yeah, uh, no, you don't like that. Okay. Feel sad about the employee Vera leaving. It seems to want to follow them. We're collecting enough of the P boxes in time to learn about observation. Please press the label bar, so you can click this, and this is where it brings up your range of things you can unlock by having the correct amount of P boxes. This is the information we currently have on the said abnormality. As you can see, we don't have much knowledge about it. So we can actually click this, it gives you basic information, so you can see here, abnormalities, basic information, training standard dummy rabbit, so on and so forth. Details concerning the management process, so we click this. It's going to unlock some of that. So how the abnormal would react towards different types of work is displayed here. The more preferred the work is, the higher success rate. So on and so forth. The number on the left of it indicates the level of work an employee has to be with it for display. The number on the left. Can I, can I see that, please? Oh, wait. So we got this. This. So you can see here what level each one of these are going to be generating. So they're pretty high. They're very high. And that's all common. So, let's proceed. This area shows what maximum off uh, what the hell, all of off counter value of the abnormality is. It will also show whether or not the abnormality will escape when the all of off counter reaches zero, as well as how resistant it is to certain types of damage after it's escaped, which is something you would need to know how to manage in such a situation. So we can see this. So what it does, it unlocks like tools and weapons and that that allows you to counter that particular abnormality. And some, some stuff will do, you know, standard stuff to other ones, or they might be really weak, as you can see here, this is weak, whereas endured, vulnerable, normal sort of thing. You're now finished with the observation, this is an, uh, as, you un as you unlock confirmation details, the observation level of the will increase, and will give you benefits with working with it. So you can see here, we can get one of them, and one of them, and there we go. Now, lastly, let's check the abnormalities observation record. Please click on that uh, story. So... You get a wee story about them, which is actually pretty cool. There's a lot of intricate little details going on behind the scenes of this game. Some rumour says it beca uh, became a training abnormality since it was most docile and tame. It's called Dummy Rabbit, but doesn't seem to like carrots. It likes people. If it escapes, it is merely following the person who is leaving. Just like, it's like, go back in your cage. Alright, press leave. It's <laughs> like, press leave. 
Right, now that you've learned the basic information, some of this information is displayed in the top of the containment unit. So you can see here, it's got, you know, training standard dummy. You can see this information here, which is pretty good. Since we unlocked the work favors, we know that Abnormal prefers attachment work. Let's try and order an employee to perform attachment. Click on the Abnormal. So this, and attachment, and do that. Oh. So let me warn you about one more thing. When your employees enter a containment unit to do work with an abnormality, the Olafoff meltdown gauge is filled up by one block. Ah. When the gauge is filled up completely, an Olafoff meltdown will occur in the facility. The number next to the gauge shows you how many containment units will be affected. So you can see here, one. The number next to it, wait, I just read that. The affected units themselves will have a meltdown alert displayed around them. When the Olafoff meltdown happens, the containment unit has beside the alert indication a timer displayed with a bar on top. Normalists would slowly drop, but when the um, like this here, uh, will uh, do, 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 uh, dismissed. Uh, the meltdown could be taken care of by performing work with the normality over the affected containment unit. If the meltdown is not dismissed within the time limit, energy will be lost, and the Olafoff counter of the unit will drop to zero. So please try to prevent that. You can see more detailed information. It's almost like you can see more detailed information in the employee handbook. <laughs> All right, so you can see here, Don, you know, it's going to a new day. It's going okay. These are already in here, which is out. Okay. All right. I think I told you almost everything about managing abnormalities. If you wish to read more, please look up the manual. So look at that. All right, so after finishing management of the day, the employees who perform work will have their stat state values increased according to the type of work they perform. After a state value passes a certain point, its level will increase. The level employee can increase this ha after having enough total value points. Employees that achieve this uh, are considered promoted and shown in the list below. So you can see here, and you got that, you know, S rank, rewards, so on and so forth. Um, so you will have receive an LOB as a reward for your work. Uh, on your management rank, you can increase your management rank by letting more employees survive the day. You have to actually have your employees, employees survive, so the higher management rank, the more LOB you receive. If, however, there is an abnormality on the loose when you finish the management of the day, you will lose some of the LOB you were, were about to earn. So LOB basically allows you to hire more people. Alright, you can see which missions you successfully managed, so any missions you've got here will show you what you've cleared. And then you can either restart the day or skip to the next. There we go. So yeah, that's a, you know a basic sort of level, and there's a lot of like nice little intricate details. And I've just loved to wanted to show you this guys for a while because the actual art style and everything is brilliant, and the sheer volume of abnormalities you can get is actually pretty incredible. All right, so what do we got here? When you successfully manage to clear a mission previously, you can conduct research. Proposals for research are then displayed at the start of the day. You can select one and conduct the research by clicking and dragging it to the slot in the row light. Right, and hit OK. Please decide to do so. So we can do this, drag that down. Do you recall how much LOB you received during management the other day? You can see the total amount of LOB you have and let have left over here. You can see that there. During this tutorial phase, I will show you how you can spend your LOB, how you can hire new employees, how you can set up your dub deployment to get higher. So you got here, you've got a uh, marine rabbit. What a blinking name. Here you can see the information looks uh, and looks of your soon to be new employee. You can increase one of four state values before hiring them by clicking the arrow button next to it. So you can actually do this if you wish to. And that will actually, it does increase the value it is to hire them. As you increase the state values of employees before hiring, the amount of LB required to hire them increases. Exactly what I just said, damn it game. You may need to review how much LB you're willing to spend on one employee as, as how much you have left afterwards before finalizing your decision. So we're just going to hire Marine Rabbit because that's a thing. Uh, we'll do this as well. There we go. And we'll drag you over. Well done. Now let's get to give it to some equipment. Remember that we extracted some EGO equipment from the abnormality. Abnormality. Yeah, so the previous day we can give those to the employees. Please press the EGO list so you can do this. Now you do have to actually give them at the start of the day. So you're almost like trying to 
predetermine things that may or may not happen. Right, currently displayed in the center is a list of available Ijo weapons you collected and some information about them. Now click on the one of the employees you have wished. So, you know what, we're going to give it to Marine Rabbit because it's there. Good, you can now equip the Ijo weapon to select so we can get this done. And there you go, he walks around quite literally with a stuffed toy. Now let's look at the list of Ijo suits. So click this and then put that on. So there we go. I don't know if you can, can you put it on them all? You can. Ah, okay. Well, they're all gonna have a nice wee suit. Hey! Excellent, now let's head back to the deployment screen. All right, so looks like uh, there is a mission here that you can clear this day, so complete abnormality work free time. You don't necessarily have to clear it, but it's recommended, because you get more goodies, essentially. One more thing, if you have any questions before starting the management process again, you can review the manual by hitting the button on the top. We're okay, don't you worry, game. So basically that's already because it was like four tutorials, we're already halfway through. Um, we're going to be going into, well, this one where it's like, well, oh, looks like we've got more than, we've got four? Who are you? Are you wondering now what would happen if the all off counter of the abnormality hits zero? Let's find out. Please select containment. We'll do that. And we will send in you. Away you go, Quinn. Have fun, Quinn. So this point here, so this reaches zero. You see some information here. So we're keeping an eye on this. This little box, P boxes, you know. There we go. So you can see here. Eat it. The dummy's on the loose! Oh my god! Run from the dummy, everybody! He just wants to follow you and get cuddles, apparently. First trump trumpet? Okay, then. <laughs> Training standard dummy has escaped the containment facility. What are your orders? When an abnormality over the fourth counter hits zero, the abnormality will either escape or use a special ability. This can lead to an inconvenient situation. Hmm. <laughs> This particular abnormality happens to escape under this condition. Employees can't work with it when it is escaped, so you will need to suppress it. Please select it. All right. All right, okay. Have four different types of damage they can inflict on employees. Red, which decreases health. White, which decreases sanity. Black, which decreases both HP and SP. And pale, which decreases health by percentage based on the target's maximum health. Employees equipped with EGO weapons can also utilize one of four damage types. Abnormalities are a set of defenses based. So you can see here they're actually weak against this. They endure this. Normal, normal. Alright, so that's a deal with red damage and is weak to white damage. Alright, so training standard, you've got that, you've got that. Convenient our employees are all equipped with EGO suits. Hmm, I wonder how that happened. Uh, weapons will deal white damage. Alright, so one more thing. If the employee carries the EGO weapon, which EGO level is higher than the abnormality's risk level, they will deal more damage than the abnormality and take less damage from it. In the current situation, EGO level and abnormality risk level are the same. So currently, this does not apply. When the suppression window is displayed, you can see what type of damage an employee de will deal. So you can see here, you. I uh, think, yep, you can see up there, 5 to 7 damage, 5 to 7, 5 to 7. Ooh, some pretty fantastic music going on. I suppose we do have an escaped creature that's going to kill us all. No, it's not. It's, just, it's a cute little bunny that just wants a hug. Uh, I mean, this is a mild one compared to some of the things you get, though. So, uh, keep that in mind. Right, so, we'll deal a uh, target before sending an order when you hover over the mouse. You can be able to set the defenses against the four types of damage. Now, please choose an employee to conduct the suppression. Alright, well, we will do that. On you go. You let it escape. Alrighty, let's see. Meeting an abnormality, especially when it's on the list, can be quite shocking and frightening for your employees. Just like when they enter a containment unit to do work on them, it could damage their sanity. If the risk level of the is high compared to the employee's level, it will cause greater stain. Stain? A greater stain on the mind? Okay. And lower their SP. So you got this here. Essentially. Let's do this! Go hit it with a. a cuddly toy hammer thing. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
All right, so loosely the salmon on it may be a bit too strong to spare it with just one employee. Be careful, by the way. If an employee dies, the EGO equipment they were using will be lost as well. Let's order the rest of the employees to help suppress it. So we're going to just do this. We're going to... Oh, and... Oh, no. Let's see. Please let the other two employees... You. Oh. And... Huh. Wait, please select the other two by clicking and dragging. Oh. oh, okay, so you need to do that. And get in here with your tiny little hammers. <laughs> Relaxed. Cam. Smack. Uh, you look like you're having a little bit of a terrible day. Smack, smack, smack. Come on. And it's upside down. You did well handle this situation. Now let's move these employees to the main room and department. Select them all. So you can do this. And select them all there. Uh. Whoa. Okay. Rhea. No. Rhea. Uh, that person just shot themselves. Okay then. Rhea's gone crazy, you have to deal with it soon. Uh, suppress. Suppress. The hallway is splashed with blood and brain fluid. You can see it too, right? We need to... Uh, you guys, go and make the... Like... Come back to your senses. Come on. Back to your senses, damn it. Get back here. There you go. That was excellent. Well done. Uh... If you ever get into a situation which to redo, okay. I don't know why that popped up like that. You can do this basically. Uh, now let's call all employees back to main room. I think the game may have. Oh. Ah, so you can click that and it'll return everybody back to the main. Excellent. That's nice and rather than you go in clicking them all and everything. There you go, everybody get inside so you can get healed up. This wraps up PC Manager Education Training Mission. If you have any questions, if you want to do, okay, well, it is time to open the Smash Gaming Lobotomy Corporation labs of ghoulish creatures and fun things. First day. Start a new game. Yes, we wish to do that. So let's see how day one goes, you know. Day one. One sin and a hundred of good deeds. So basically you get to actually sort of choose. You'll get them all randomly selected, but you can sort of choose in a way. But usually you start with one sort of base one. It feeds on the evil that surfaces during conversations between people. Huh? All right then, let's click and see what is in the, the... Hello, X. Welcome to Lobotomy Corporation. I am Angela, your advisor and secretary. Even though I am AI, feel free to talk to me. <laughs> I like my name. Do you like yours? I am created from one of the wings of the world. That means I am the best. Ah, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that I look too human to be an AI, aren't you? But there is a big difference. I am bound here. I can't go anywhere I want like you do. I can't open a door or prepare a cup of coffee for you, but I can't go outside to enjoy the sun or breeze. I feel like you're trying to, like, pity us here. Well, as you can see, my hair color is out of the morning sky after the rain. My voice is out of the wisest person in the world. My face is out of a person with the most beautiful smile. You are not smiling. This is not smiling. Yes, exactly. But a joke, there's no such person in real life. My appearance has been made to be attractive to as many people as possible. If you feel attracted to me, I am working as intended. Well, AIs are far more efficient than humans when multitasking. I am the best in most areas. I can do the work of several dozen people at once. I'm sure that many people lost their job because of me. I feel sorry for them. <laughs> Well, that's a thing. Enough of the introduction. Do you have anything you want to know? Ah, uh, you know what? We'll go about the company. Not a bad question. Let me put it this way. The energy consumption rate is ever increasing as technology is advanced. Conventional energy so uh, sources combined could not sustain the world anymore. In search of solutions, we stumbled upon mysterious beings dubbed as abnormalities. And figured out that we could harvest energy from these beings using a special method. I mean, poking and prodding them doesn't seem like a very good thing. 
especially if you get the more meaner ones are just like, what the hell are you doing? We isolate them in controlled environments and harvest energy from them. That doesn't sound morbid at all. The company became one of the wings of the world for this discovery. Once you're assigned as a manager, you can access information about the abnormalities from the encyclopedia. It's very important that you may, you know and understand these beings to be successful as a manager. It's empty for now. It's your subordinate's job to fill it with data. And you have joined the company at an opportune moment. Bonamy is looking for ways to improve its harvest process. Our systems are continually updated to support this. Speaking of which, there's been a new update just before you came. That means working conditions have been improved than those of the, those predecessors. Think of this as your welcome gift. I hope you do well. I was about to mention, you don't understand the concept of patience, do you? What? I, what? Manager, I think you should meet other AIs. The Bolomy is a huge corporation or many AIs working in different departments. If I'm the Cerebrum, there are, there are the Cerebrums. Game, I really hate you and your words right now. Naturally, I am your most trusted AI. Shall we meet them now? The memories of all Safaras are synchronized. Okay. I guess we're clicking this. Malkuf. You're supposed to expand a team every day. Do you want to unlock the control team? Uh, yes. I guess we're vertically synchronized terminal. Check power grid. Synchronize. Weaken all the false defenses. And print memory repository. Alright, so we've got Zion here. Uh, seems to have some basic information about him already, which is good. We haven't manufactured any of these right now. Uh, we've got a couple of... Do we already have these then? So after perfectly producing p boxes, one cent and hundreds of good deeds restored the SP of all employees in the department. Oh. One cent and hundreds of good deeds restores the employees' SP when the workers result in good. Harry, who has, who was on receiving end, commented that it was full. All right. All right, so we're on day one. Uh, we should get... We, we have no employees right now, so... Uh, nope. Let's see. You... We don't have anything we can manufacture at the moment. Like that. Can I not do anything? Can I not raise anything on you? There we go. Alright. Uh, do I have to have you? Ooh, we can change your appearance. Okay. Alright, so we can do something here. Does it have to, can you make them boy or girl or completely randomize it? Battle face. We're gonna get a battle face, yes. Combat mouth. Uh yeah, we'll go with that. Dead eyes. Dead eyes, did it. Are they actually that's not changing the eyes at all. Panic eyebrows. Oh, he doesn't panic. Combat eyebrows. Yes. Gonna go with a nice red. Uh, we'll take that away and that away. It's gonna be. Yes. I don't know what I'm gonna call them. Yeah. I'm gonna call him Philip. <laughs> gonna call him Philip. And. Some, I mean, I don't know if there's actually a difference between the book. Well, you know what? We're going with that. We're going with that. Right, I kind of want to... Right, so we can actually see this. So it's common, common, common high. So it gets pretty high with purple. So I do kind of want to actually put a couple on... Oh, uh, uh, okay. Ah, uh, okay. Fine. Fine. All right, so we got Yuri. And we got Philip. I mean, we could actually rename Yuri, I think. Uh, no. Wait. Can we rename you? Can we rename you? Can can I rename you? Uh, no, I can't rename you. Fine, Yuri and Philip. Let us begin the day one. Yuri and Philip are here. Yuri and Philip, a cheerful new employee, frivolous new employee. All right. Alright, so we're going to select this. We want to do this. Uh, so it's uh, work accessory. So work type. Let's go with that. We'll send Yuri down first. We've got some randoms around here. Just kind of... I don't know what's wrong with you. 
You're not meant to walk down the corridor with your eyes closed. Just, just that seems a little bit hazardous. All right, so uh, he seems friendly, right? Seems check secure, check attainment level, cultivating vast but the well. What, 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 what the well? What words are these? All right, one sin and hundreds of good deeds. Yes. Oh, uh, can we see if you're okay? Are you okay, Yuri? You seem to be okay, Yuri. You must have made some sacrifice to collect half the energy. Do not let those sacrifice. Right, so we get nine of fifteen already of that, which is great. We've got to get missions so we can see here. Uh, control team, good work. Result. All right, so we can see here he's chilling away in there. So what you can actually do is, of course, we want to probably send down uh, Philip. I might look up some enemy names or something. So they, you see here, they recovered a little bit because of obviously this. So they hang around there. The employees you directly control will hang around in here until you do something with them. All right, Philip, I'm done there. You're doing good. Okay, all right. So this doesn't have an awful counter thingy, my bob. I'm trying to remember where the buttons are. It's impossible just for once to forgive an act of evil as long as the intentions were good. We have enough energy so we can stop collecting energy now. If I, I don't want to do that. I want to do this. Speed up rate. I don't think we can actually... We can get a couple of these though. Oh, that costs... Oh, bollocks. No, we want to. We want to continue. Go. We'll leave Philip in there to recover. Uh, you seem to be okay. What do you got? Because we want to try and do the mission as well. Plus, if we get enough of these, we can at least put on some of the suits as well. If we need it. Plus, if you finish with your people surviving, you do tend to do a little bit better. Now, this is one of the friendlier ones. He's like... May not look friendly, being a skull and with things through him and spikiness, but he's, he's a friendly little chap. He is here for the stay, you know. You failed to try it. It's impossible just for once to forgive the act of evil's long intention. Good. Alright. Excellent. Oh, you're not too happy. We got three there that we didn't get. Alright. Let's have a look here. Can get one of them though, so that gives us that and that, so that gives us one each. Uh, we don't have escape information though, that is something we're going to need. Now of course we can't put the suit on yet. Who went in there actually? Uh, use 17, use, okay, so you, go. We don't want to complete the day yet, we don't want to complete the day yet, we want to be able to do our first day. Come on, get in there, get in there, Philip. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Calm it now, you're okay. Don't worry. Uh, come here, Yuri, get in there just now. Just in case Philip doesn't calm the skull, floating skull. But yeah, you can basically finish your day up unless you want to do the other stuff, so it's completely down to you. This seems to be going okay, it's done a little bit better than the last time, so that in itself. And he's pretty happy, so... Uh, the last at 60 seconds, I don't know if I trust it. I'm going to return all the employees to there just now. Uh, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Get back in there. We must... I don't know if that's... It is flashing, which is worrying some. Escape information. Non-escaped object. What? <laughs> I is a non-escaped object, dang it. Alright, well we need to go in there anyway, so we... Once, uh, okay, once in a hundred of good deeds has no eyes, but is recognized he's the presence of Philip in the room. He's like, I know Philip. Philip is nice. Philip is a good thing, yeah. Philip and me have good chats. Or, but, wait, how does it, has, well I suppose it has eye holes? All right, there we go. So control team, Semper F1, clear. Right, so we're gonna return everybody up there. There we go. Excellent. I don't think there's much else we can do. Speed rate plus five, good, good, good. Yep, yep, yep. We've got one of each of them as well. Yep, that is our first day, so we can complete day one. 
Management report. Excellent. We got that. We got nice reward. We got that. We got that. So you can actually do this. We're going to just go to the next day because that was perfect. I think. Maybe. Uh, so we'll find out. Hmm. <laughs> yes, we do wish to go to the next day. All right. Please nothing break. Please nothing break. All right. So what do we got here? She was so talkative before. In the end, loneliness was the only listener. People have been committing sins from the last long time ago. Why do they commit s such a thing, even when they know it is, uh, is that bad? And everything will be peaceful while you are under the fairy's care. Okay. Well, guys, I'm going to leave it there for episode one. Um, if you're enjoying what you're seeing, though, please be sure to hit that like button. Let me know. Subscribe for more if you're brand new here. Come be back part of the Smash Gaming world. And, well, I've been Francis. Thank you very much for watching this. And I'll see you all next time.